Does consciousness have an on-off switch? I wanted to get philosophical this week and talk about what is consciousness. Now this is something that deep thinkers have been puzzling over for generations. Some people go so far as to say the best way to define it is to say what it isn't and take that away and whatever's left over is your answer. But how do you know when you're finished? Personally, I think consciousness is all about awareness, not just of your environment, but of yourself. For example, I'm thinking, and I know that I'm thinking, and I know that I'm talking about knowing that I'm thinking. Actually, I do that a lot. But what I also know is that we don't know that much about the brain. It's like we have a general map, but all the fine details are missing. One of those details is the gateway to consciousness. But a team of doctors may have discovered it. These guys work with George Washington University, and they're studying a patient who has epilepsy. Now, epilepsy is caused by abnormal neuronal activity in your brain. It's when neurons just start to spark uncontrollably. And one potential symptom is that you lose consciousness. Well, these doctors were stimulating parts of this patient's brain to try and find out where her seizures were coming from. And when they stimulated a part called the claustrum, the patient stopped what she was doing and just stared off into space. When they stopped stimulating that part of her brain, she recovered and she had no recollection of what had just happened. So it's possible that this team has found the on-off switch for human consciousness. Now I say possible because we have to consider there are a lot of factors here. One, we've got a sample size of one person. That's not enough to draw any kind of scientific conclusion. Two, this patient had had a previous surgery where part of her hippocampus had been removed. That's part of the brain that's associated with memory. Well, that means that she's outside the norm. So it may not be that her experience is representative of anyone else's. But let's assume for a moment that the team actually found that on-off switch. What does that mean for the future? Well, for one thing, it means that we have part of our brains that, if stimulated, will lose consciousness and not remember anything, which is a little freaky. But it also means we can learn more about the mechanisms of consciousness and potentially help people who lack awareness of their surroundings, like people who are in a comatose state or people who suffer from amnesia. It also means we might be able to determine what other organisms also possess consciousness. We might have to reclassify animals as those who have it and those who don't. And here's the kicker, the science fiction jackpot. If we understand enough about the mechanisms of consciousness, we might be able to give that to an artificial being, machine consciousness. Now granted, any use of this information is years if not decades into the future. But I love the idea that we're making baby steps into a real scientific understanding of what consciousness is and we did it by accident. I've got a question for all of you this week. How do you define consciousness? I really wanna know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like and join our growing hive consciousness by subscribing to the channel. And if you haven't had enough, you have got to check out this video about memory, the hippocampus, and erasing and restoring thoughts with light. They also surgically implanted optical fibers into the rat's brain so they could shine light directly on neurons. Now this stimulated the rat's brains as if they had heard a sound, even though no sound was playing.